Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Shitly Valuable. I am Seth, and today I'm going to be showing you the new pieces for my Scarecrow cosplay. We're getting farther and farther and farther with this Scarecrow cosplay from Batman Arkham Knight. I've added so much stuff to it, including the cloak and um, also the syringe gauntlet. Um, I'm just trying to add more and more pieces for it and um, get it done as soon as I can because I don't want to be rushing this before Comic Con. So the thing that I've been working on the most is the cloak because the cloak is probably the main piece of the suit and it's like the part that covers the most and it is the most awesome looking piece in the suit. Okay guys, here is the cloak and what it looks like. This looks so awesome. Um, now what I did was is I took this brown like canvas fabric that I got from Walmart and I put um, down actually a um, like jacket that I had, actually a hooded jacket, and then I went over the entire jacket and I laid pieces of the brown fabric, like chunks of it, over the jacket, and then I glued the pieces together over the jacket to where I didn't actually glue them to the jacket, but I glued them over it to where it kind of stenciled it out, but it kind of acted as like kind of a mannequin to work off of, so it would fit me perfectly, and it looked so awesome. I did the sleeves actually separate. Um, then the chest, I did the torso, the sleeves, and then the hood. The hood was by far the easiest to do um, because I was able to just kind of piece it together and kind of form it in a certain way and it didn't have to like fully fit right because it just had to drape over my head. It didn't have to have this certain like look to it and a certain way it worked and everything. I had to actually replace both of the sleeves about three times, so I made about three different sleeves before I finally got the last ones right because either they were too tight, they were too loose, um, they just didn't really have the right look to them, they just didn't sit right, so I had to replace these about three times each. Um, but yeah, it was well worth it in the end. After I was done with the torso, I actually made the torso a lot longer um, to where it actually went down close to the feet, um, so it looks really, really awesome. I cut a slit in the back, like going from like the waist down to where I gave it kind of a tail design to where it has these like sort of tails that come down, and then I added some paint to the bottom to make them look really worn and dirty and gross. Now after this entire thing was done, what I did was is I took a brown zipper and I cut a slit down the middle and then I installed the zipper so it just unzips like this. Now this is kind of the like zippers from Walmart where they don't fully like unzip like a jacket and then it kind of hangs off. So I actually have it to where there's about an inch that doesn't actually zip down so you step into it like a jumpsuit, like a um, prison jumpsuit or just any sort of jumpsuit. You actually have to get into it like that and stuff completely unzipping, uh, unzipping it and putting it on like a jacket. You have to actually step into it because these zippers are kind of weird and they don't really work like that. I've actually never found a zipper that you install that actually works like a real jacket. You would probably have to cut it off of a jacket. But yeah. It zips up like that, and this is actually true to the game. When you look up reference pictures, there's a small little line that's obviously a zipper um, that actually goes down the middle, and that's obviously probably how he gets um, into the suit. So it's pretty good. I am actually really happy that I installed the zipper on the front because I was originally going to do it on the back, but I'm really glad I did it on the front because it's identical to the game now. After all, all that was finished with the zipper and everything, I went over the entire suit and I used some black spray paint from Rust-Oleum. Um, I thought I had the can in here, I guess I don't, but I had some uh, black spray paint that I sprayed over the entire suit. I had it a lot thicker in some spots and a lot lighter in some spots to um, give it like this dirty, sort of grimy sewer look because in Batman Arkham Asylum, spoiler alert, well, there's not much of a spoiler alert because a lot of people that are watching this video have already played it because it's a really old game. But in Batman Arkham Asylum, um, Scarecrow, of course, gets ripped under the water by Killer Croc and everyone thinks he's dead. But he gets really grimy and gross after that and then, like, the mask fuses to his face and everything. So I did that kind of grimy and gross look for the suit. I know it's a totally different suit than the game, but um, it's a lot grimier and dirty in Batman Arkham Knight. It's just got this really awesome look because I didn't want it to have like plain fabric look. I wanted to give it this kind of almost zombie look to it. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. I was originally going to use like stitching and go over the entire suit, but that would take forever. It would be exhausting. And you really can't see it in the game. It's actually very dark 
stitching so it basically looks just like the patched together stuff so the next piece that I've been working on is the syringe gauntlet this thing looks so awesome I made this entire thing out of foam um, and then I also um, added some pieces and little bits and like gears all over it so the entire base of this is made out of foam um, like a lot of my projects are but with this one I actually added a lot of greedlies and stuff which is a Star Wars term for like random bits and pieces like they would have on like a Star Wars um, like spaceship or something but yeah I went over this entire thing and I added all these little pieces and stuff I added like these Lego pieces here and here and also one right here and here so I added all these like Lego pieces I added these random metal pieces right here and then I'll also use these as like bases for each like syringe finger piece type of thing because these are basically like, like the like bases of them that would be bolted in. I used industrial super glue for like automotive type of stuff to glue down each one of these and then I made these out of foam which then stuck to that and then oddly enough I used like these fake bullet things that was the same things that I used to attach the respirators to the scarecrow mask um, but yeah I have a lot of these bullets around my room um, they're just these plastic like fake bullets and what I did was is I took some super glue and super glued them in and they look so much like the actual syringes from the game because they're a lot wider in the game they actually don't really look like syringes in the game. I found a bunch of just random pieces like this knob right here um, these random gear pieces and stuff and then I actually made a button from three pieces that actually looks a lot like a uh, button that would like inject it in. I added these metal pieces. It's just really held together with just tons of really cool metal pieces. Just this really awesome just put together design. Now the tubes full of like fear toxin to like eject it in. What I did was is I took these hot glue sticks and then I painted them with orange paint and then I super glued them down. I still have to do some tidying up with like making sure the paint's right and everything on them. But yeah and it just slides off like this and it looks so awesome. Now the paint actually on these tubes I didn't put too much paint to leave them kind of like transparent so when the light hits them it actually looks like tubes with fear toxin like flowing through them. Now, the Fear Toxin Syringe Gauntlet thing um, is actually not even near exact replica of the game. I actually did my own take on it. Um, the entire cloak is basically a, as exact as you can possibly get to the cloak. Um, I wanted to make it very close to the game to make it very recognizable. But with the Syringe Gauntlet, there's so many bits and pieces that would be near impossible to make. And some of the pieces are just so random that it's just really hard to like recognize them and to make it like have a recognizable thing. Now I didn't make it like the game where you have to grab onto like this handle piece right here and then it's got them that go over the knuckles and then I gave it the same bulky design and then like these tubes right here but all the gears and pieces and some of the same shape is absolutely completely different from the game but it's just kind of my own take on it and I think it looks really really good you can bend your arm and everything you got full movement with your hand this even flexes since it's foam and it's just so awesome this is one of my favorite props I've ever made but yeah this is gonna go really well with the scarecrow suit final thing this is just a little touch-up that I did for the mask this is no like real big thing but what I did was is I actually molded some teeth um, for the mask because I originally used little foam pieces but I wanted some better teeth so what I did was is I took these fake plastic teeth that were like came from like a plastic like teeth set that I got like from like a like weird like geek store like a few years ago that actually closed down sadly um, but yeah I, I never really used them because they were like really cheap and disgusting but what I did was is I actually modified them a little bit and then I actually put them in play-doh because I ran out of clay and then I pulled them out and then I poured in latex and casted these amazing looking teeth I mean they look like straight off the set of like a horror movie or something like that um, now they're very small and kind of hard to see, but it adds so much to the mask, just that little bit right there. And I took the time, I spent like two days molding these teeth just for that little effect. But it looks so awesome, so when I put on the mask right here and tighten it up, see you can see like the teeth sticking out right there and it looks so much more creepy. Um, I did a little bit of paint modifying as well to make it look a lot better. 
But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful for you guys. Um, I know I don't do tutorials or anything like that, like full process videos, because I really don't have the time to make those videos, because with the stuff I do, I have to do it like a really long process, and it would waste like hundreds of dollars in batteries on my camera to film all that stuff. So I don't really do tutorial videos. I just show you what I've made for Comic-Con, because I really just show the stuff off at Comic-Con. I don't really do it for YouTube videos usually I just do it for doing it for Comic-Con and then going to Comic-Con and just showing it off and then I can kind of just show it on YouTube if anybody at Comic-Con wants to see like me show it more in depth on my channel because of course I can't show every piece at Comic-Con but on YouTube I can but I don't want to do an in-depth like making process because there's no need to and waste time when I could be working on the cosplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye, guys!